Hi guys, this is Peugeot 307 SW from 2005 and today we're going to replace front stabilizer sway bar. Other people might call it an ARB link which stands for anti-roll bar. So to show you that's the new component I bought, it's a substitute of original, it's called uh, Kamoka. Um, it looks pretty decent and I hope it will serve me for a longer time but just for you guys to have a clue how it looks like then there's a link and the same is on the other side Okay, let's have a look inside. Now if you see closely, you should be able to identify the ARB link already. It's here. That's the bottom fixing point to the stabilizer and the top fixing point to the dumper. Now, the way you remove it, let's grease it first. Just to be okay now the job will be a bit easier if you wait five minutes from now but I can tell you what we are going to do basically the old one have Torx screwdriver interface so you put that in, you hold it with one hand and then you work with the key, flat key, to turn the screw. So you need to keep holding the screwdriver with one hand and operate the key with your other hand. Now uh, the thing that could help here as well is to remove the cable for the ABS sensor, we don't want to damage that. Everybody that has Peugeot 307 knows how um, how often the ABS system is failing. So to avoid that we hide the cable there and now we have a good uh, approach to the interface. And same below we will approach it from the other side and there's no obstructions there so it should be easy. Now if we take a look at the new one it has an allen key interface so instead of star shape we'll use allen key to fasten it so we will insert the key here hold it and then work with the nut Okay, I already see that I will have problems removing this uh, nut. It has been here for several, several years and it's uh, quite corroded, so I need to move it first. And you can of course do it in different ways. I will use a pneumatic tool for that, but you can also use a larger wrench. You can hit it gently with the hammer. You can try uh, hitting it in the uh, middle range of your force. And, and see and of course use lubrication. When that doesn't work you can also um, use lubrication and key, keep the lubrication on for a longer time, let's say a couple of hours or you can just leave it for the night with lubrication on and you, when you approach it the next day it should be a lot easier. So now I'll scale the sound of the video so you won't be experiencing that. Okay.
And you see, that is why it was difficult to remove it, because the tension from the bottom one pushed it upwards and I couldn't remove it and I need, needed to hit it off the hole. Okay, I broke my only tool that I could use to remove it, so now I will clean it of grease, since grease is flammable, and I will do exactly what I've done with the other bolt, or the other nut, and I'll just grind it off. Unfortunately, the screwdriver I was using was too weak, I couldn't get a good grab of it, and that's why I, I just don't have a good lever to work on the bolt. Now, when you compare the old one with the new one, when I try to move the new one, I can't even move it a bit. But when I work on the old one, it's basically no problem. I move it with my little finger. 
same here it's just there's no resistance and that's why you know that this is worn out as a cool thing to do we are also going to see what is inside So as you see, this is the ball that went loose in my ARB, which caused this sound of knocking on my left wheel. Okay, so now it's time to install the new one, and the washer from the old one is no good. So it's good that I have some washers on my own. I'll put some lubrication on it in case I need to replace it in a couple of years. So that's Cooper paste. So just because I have a bit better grip from this side, I'll do it from this side instead from it's instead of doing it from under the car because I have better grip of the uh, stabilizer here and I'll be able to push it down I hope ah. okay Obviously, I forgot something, so we'll do a quick fix. And as you see, with new bolts uh, and new nuts, you don't actually need uh, to hold the, to hold this uh, face of the bolt, since it's actually going very good without it oh. and before you install it back on the car make sure that you clean the surface around the hole because that's the contact area for the washer and the nut so better surface gives you better grip and that's about it Okay, so the only remaining things are to put the ABS cable in place and put the wheel on. But I guess that I don't need to explain that and you'll manage that. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more Peugeot 307 mechanics, check my channel out, I've got plenty of videos about this car. And good luck with your Peugeot!